okay? Oh, Doug. I woke up and you weren't there. I woke up, too, about an hour and a half ago. And I thought, well, while I'm lying here, why don't I go over my lesson plan for tomorrow in my head? I couldn't. My head is empty. I can't remember a thing. Names, dates, how many movements there are in a symphony, nothing. Hey, hey, calm down. Hey, you were so confident last night. That was all an act. I just didn't want you to worry. Now I do. What am I going to do when I get up in front of my first class tomorrow to teach? And I'm not even sure who wrote the Beethoven Fifth. I suppose there's no point in telling you. You haven't forgotten a thing. It'll all come back as soon as your first class begins. No point at all. Uh oh Exhausted. Back to bed. I uh, know. Are you coming? I'm wide awake. Would you mind if I went? I think maybe I could get some sleep now. Good. Hello. Oh, hello, Audrey. What's going on? This has been the third call. First Helen and Nancy and then you. Of course I'm going to school. Why shouldn't I? My mom is teaching senior music classes. I am not a senior, therefore I will not be in her class, and neither will you. <laughs> Look, I don't know why everyone's so uptight about her teaching at our school. I'm not worried a bit. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Bye. You being razzed about Kate teaching at your school? This has been the third sympathy call. Are sympathies in order? Well, it is kind of embarrassing. I mean, I am supposed to come home and tell Mom about school and me. She's not supposed to be there and get it all firsthand. I see what you mean. But it must be worse for Kate. I mean, imagine teaching at your own kid's school. Oh, well, she'll be great. I just wish she'd do it someplace else. Did you want something? Well, actually, I am in need of assistance. I do not do braids. No, it's not that simple. I need a favor, a big one. Like what? Emmy Sheldon and I are the two best spellers in the class. There's a big spelling bee today, oral. Those are always more difficult. Oh, you'll do fine. Good luck. My confidence is at a low ebb. I need a talisman. Something that'll bring me luck. Something that'll help me win. Buddy, I'm... I'm sorry you may not borrow my lucky ring. Please, buddy. I'm sorry, Annie, but this ring is very special to me. My grandfather gave it to me when I was 10. He said there was magical properties in this ring, and he was right. Besides, I never lent it out anyway. If you never lent it to anybody, I understand. It wouldn't be right for you to entrust me with something you really, really care about. I'll manage. Just a little nervous. I had no idea Amy Sheldon was such a whiz at spelling. My confidence is sort of shaken, but I'll be all right. Give me your hand. Just don't lose it. Be very careful. I'll guard it with my light and put some tape around it, okay, so it won't fall out. And do your other braid. You look lopsided. Lopsided. L-O-P-S-I-D-E-D. -E -D. Hey, it works. Oh, good morning. Oh, darling, you look pushed. When did you get to sleep? I didn't. Oh, dear, I'm sorry. Well, if you're feeling better, it was worth it. I am. So far. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Buddy, um, I'm a little confused about what the teachers do between classes. I mean, where do they go? Oh, I don't know much about the teachers. I'm just a student. Kate, remember to look in your desk and chair. I remember once we had the student teacher. Some of the kids put Weber cement all over her chair. Thanks for the tip. I seem to remember having considerable respect for that person standing in front of the room. Pointer in hand. 
Oh, and kids are different now than back in the olden days. The invention of the wheel helped. Um, if you don't mind, uh, we could watch school together. Um, I was gonna walk with some friends. Oh, buddy. Well, I already made arrangements. Maybe some other time, okay? Of course. See ya. Oh, my. I think Buddy wishes I'd never even thought of getting a teaching credential. Well, she probably thinks she'll be checking on her every day. Once she realizes you've got plenty of other things to think about, she'll be fine. If I have that much to worry about, will I be? Listen, I'm sure by tomorrow, half the class will be bringing you apples. And the other half? Kate, I'd let you borrow Buddy's lucky ring. Only it took a lot of doing, and I promised I'd be very careful with it. That explains everything but why you need it. Hot spelling be today, and Miss Sheldon's the competition. I want to really triumph. That's the way I feel. Wish I thought of the ring. You won't need it. Good luck, Kate. You too, honey. Breakfast? Bye-bye. Bye. Now, just one more thing, and then you better get ready to go. When you're standing in front of your class, just keep thinking, I'm finally doing what I've worked so hard for over the past three years. Think how proud of yourself you should be, and think how proud of you I am. You get an A for everything. Okay. I wasn't looking. That's right, you weren't. I'll get him. I'll get him. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. Ciao. Hi. This is Lawrence. Oh, yes. Uh, Ed Stevens, your principal. Yes, of course. I met you at the orientation class last week. Well, I should have warned you about the hallways between classes. Some of our students think of class as only a pit stop between races. Tomorrow I'll bring my checkered flag. How's it going so far? Well, I think. I've had uh, two classes this morning. I don't think I've aged more than 10 or 15 years. Actually, I'm fine. I'm on my way to a senior music appreciation class now. I'm looking for the room, in fact. Right down there. As you know, uh, part of my job is to look in on you from time to time and uh, just to check your progress and, and evaluate your teaching techniques. Yes, I know. I'll keep my fingers crossed. You visit on a good day. Now, it's all routine, Mrs. Lawrence. You haven't a thing to worry about. Oh, but if you do, please let me know. Remember, we educators are all in the same boat. I will. <laughs> You're bailing out, I see. Capitulate right. I thought my heart would stop. Abby Sheldon's good. I was really lucky today. Like I had nothing to do with it, Annie. You're just smart. Just plain smart. That's true ordinarily. But today, luck really did have a lot to do with it. What do you mean? This ring has magical properties. Oh, Annie, really? No, I'm serious. It's my sister's lucky ring. I borrowed it from her. And you know, it works. Barbara, help. Help! I've got to get it out from under there. It's probably swept out to sea by now. At this point, I wish I could be. James Pruitt? Um, Michael Mark. Denise Payton? Mark Reiner? Anna Cole? Didn't you perform in a recital at the university last month? Yes. You play beautifully. I know this class has been in session quite some time. Maybe one of you could tell me what you've been discussing. Anna? Um, we were discussing the four characteristics of tone. All right. Um, would you review those for us, please, Anna? Um, the four characteristics of tone are pitch, duration... <laughs> 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 Pitch, duration. Oh, uh, just a minute, Anna. What's so funny? <laughs> There's a class in session here. I'd appreciate it if you'd just move along. Well, I'd love to oblige, but I'm registered in this class. I can't afford any more cuts this semester. Can you afford a mark for lateness? 
That's called a late pass. Makes lateness legal. <laughs> Greetings, fellow music lovers. Your name, please? How dreary to be somebody how public like a frog. To tell one's name the live long June to an admiring bog. Emily Dickinson. Uh, thank you, Emily. I uh, don't see your name listed here. It's pretty good. Not terrific, but not bad. Check your role for Philip Ogden. Philip Ogden. So that you don't feel left out, uh, Mr. Ogden, before you arrived, we were discussing the four characteristics of tone. They are pitch. I think you'd uh, all better take notes. Pitch, duration. What? Teacher said to take notes. What now, Mr. Ogden? Well, you said to take notes, so I did. Marks. Not riotously funny, Mr. Ogden. Well, I'm sorry you didn't find it funny, Mrs. Lawrence. I thought it was fair myself. Well, look, you give me some time, and maybe by tomorrow, I can come up with something that'll really get to you. Sport and put on the kettle. I'm perishing for a cup of tea. Sure. It was okay for a first day. What? I thought you might want to know how my day went. Or do you know already? No. Know what? Oh, nothing. I'm just a little jittery. Did something happen? It was okay for a first day. Tomorrow will be better. Uh, would you like to have lunch with me tomorrow? At school? Unless you want to spring for the polo lounge. No, it's just that I always have lunch with my friends. What would they think? Probably that you were having lunch with your mother. It's okay. I understand. I'll put the kettle on. Oh. I'm sorry I have to do this. Hi. Oh, hi. What's up? I'm a little short this week. I know the feeling. Oh, could you please put my ring back in my room now? Buddy, I... Did the ring work for you? Uh, the spelling bee was a tie. So is it okay if I hold on to the ring till it's all over? Well... Please? Okay. You don't know what this means to me, buddy. Yeah, right. What is this just for? We'll find out soon enough. Honey, just about to take a walk. Care to join me? I can't. I'm up to my eyes in paperwork. Real teachers must need full-time secretaries to get it all done. Real teachers? You know what I mean. No, I don't. What's the matter, honey? You've been edgy all night. You've hardly told me a word about your day. I know. I'm sorry. I haven't said anything because I don't even know what happened today. It wasn't what you expected? Most of it was. The kids weren't quite what I expected. No one ever told me how mean kids have become. As a group? One in particular, actually. He really gave me a hard time, and it flattened me. What happened? I don't know how to describe it. But he disrupted the class in a way that made it clear I'm not ready for the big leagues. What did he do? It's not so much what he did. It's the way it made me feel. Foolish and ineffectual. I lost control of the situation. He knew it. So did the other kids. And the others joined in? Oh, let's say they made it clear that they were on his side. Honey, you're nervous. There's always one kid who wants to find out who's boss. Once you let him know it's you, it'll be all right. Let him know I'm boss. Hi, right, there's the rub. Am I? See if you can find a place. That jacket must have been pretty expensive. Oh, uh, yeah, actually it was. How'd you manage it on your pittance? 
For your information, I make very good money. I'm glad, because then it won't be a problem. I think I've just been set up. Right. But for what? Well, Buddy very graciously lent me her lucky ring. The jade one her grandfather gave her. Yeah. And it fell down a drain and it's gone. Oh! I located one just like it. It cost $75. I have about 15 so if you could lend me 60 No, wait a second. I can't believe the Buddy's actually going to make you buy her a new ring. She isn't. She doesn't even know it's gone. She made me promise to be careful. She'd kill me. Yeah, I think she certainly try. Uh, okay, yeah, you're on. Oh, Willie, thank you. Sure. When can you start? Start? Working for your money. Annie, that ring was very important to Buddy. There's no way I'm just going to cough up the money for you to replace it. That's the kind of dough you got to earn, don't you think? Are you sure about that? Okay, what do I do? About eight tons of laundry first, and then we'll talk. I'll start this afternoon. No, you can take your time. Take it, I'm doing it. All right. Come on, I gotta drop Mom at her school. I can take you to yours, too. in here like that. This room is usually empty now, so of course I suspected the worst. I'm Pat Wills, sophomore English. I'm Kate Lawrence. I go with the room. Please sit down. I was hoping I'd get to meet you. You know, uh, you're quite the topic of conversation around here. I am. Why? Well, everyone's been wondering why someone your age who doesn't need the money is crazy enough to want to start teaching. If that's a question, you picked the wrong day to ask it. If you're having second thoughts, you should have. What happened? Oh, yesterday was rough. There's a boy in the class. Oh, Philip Ogden. You know him? Mean, smart, and a leader among his peers. It's a lethal combination. Especially since his favorite targets are his teachers. Tell me about it. I just let him rip. He stops, sooner or later. And if you try and force him, it's a little like poking a rattlesnake with a stick, if you know what I mean. That's a lovely image. In a word, it's hopeless. Oh, come on, you're still teaching. Yes, but I've been at it for 25 years. My pension's coming up. If I were in your shoes, I would run like a bunny. Life is too short to have to put up with this kind of thing every day. At this stage of the game, it's too short not to, for me, anyway. Have it your way. I hope I haven't made it worse. No, you didn't. Misery loves company. Actually, everything you said made me realize how very much I want to be here, how damned hard I work to get here, and how sure I am I'm going to make it. In that case, my last words on the subject are good luck. <laughs> to Philip Ogden, too. Uh, won't you join me? I'd love to. As long as we don't talk about teaching. <laughs> it's a bargain. These could walk to the laundry bed themselves. What are you doing at home? Uh, gee, my boss is snowed in in Tahoe. I thought I'd work home for a few days. What's your excuse? I need the money as fast as I can get it. I thought I might get a head start in the step if I came home at lunch. Oh, Annie, you make you sound like a slave driver. Willie, a deal is a deal. Well, if that's the way you really feel. How about this week's? No starch, please. There are no limits to righteousness. I'd like to continue from where we stopped yesterday. Anna? Anna? 
sorry I'm late, Mrs. Lawrence, but I was thinking about what happened here yesterday, and I decided it wasn't a very nice way to treat a new DJ. Just sit down, Philip. I decided we ought to let you know exactly how we feel about having you here. Philip. Is everybody ready? Do -do -do -do. See now, uh, steal one chicken. Ah, oh. Julia Childs to the rescue again. I'm sorry, I don't have the energy to come back with a snappy retort. No, we had snappy retorts last night. Tonight we're having fried chicken. <laughs> oh, I was just trying to cheer you up. I have had a bad day. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, here, let me do that. I need the comfort of work in which I excel. Okay, I don't like the sound of that. Honey, leave me alone with the chicken. I need to think. Hello there. If you do windows, you're hired. Sorry, but my services are exclusive to Willie. And what'd you do to deserve this? Don't ask, please. Okay. Bye. Oh, my ring. I need it tomorrow. Tomorrow? There's this party I want to go to, and there's someone very special that I want to meet there. And I know it'll bring me luck. Uh, yeah, you'll have it. Okay. Did you win? We're still tied. Good. Then it's working. It's working for me, all right? Who is it? Buddy, I'd like to talk to you. It's open. Sorry to bother you. You didn't. You have a lot of homework tonight? Oh, tons. That Mr. Darcy's such a creep. He doesn't even look at it. He... Forget it. Oh, come on, buddy. You've complained to me about Mr. Darcy before. Yeah, but you never used to have lunch with him before. I still don't. The rate I'm going, I never will. Buddy, do you know a student named Philip Ogden? He's a senior. But I don't know him. But even if I did, I don't think it's right that you ask me for information about a kid in our school so you can use it as a teacher. I'm sorry. You're right. That is why I was asking you. Philip Ogden's in one of my classes, and he and I have been having some trouble. Some trouble? That's putting it mildly. I wasn't going to mention it, but now that you have, it's all around the school the way he's been treating you, and I don't get it. I don't either, buddy. I really don't. I don't know what he's up to. That's not what I mean. What if it were me or Willie or even Nancy treating you like that? Mom, why are you letting him walk all over you? That's a very good question. I want to give that a lot of thought. I'll let you know. Please, before you say a word, I think we should let bygones be bygones. You really are extraordinary. You really mean that? I think there's something we have to settle between us. Why do you want to drive me out of the classroom? It can't be anything I've said. You haven't given me a chance to say a word. You know, I was just thinking about that. 
You're right. I don't know what's been bugging me the last few days, but I, I guess we just got off on the wrong foot with each other. That's putting it mildly. I know I have a problem, and I'm aware of it. I am. What problem is that, Philip? Well, it's just that... Well, people around here will tell you I have irrepressibly high spirits. Okay. For a minute there, I thought we were making history. See, I was just trying to explain. It was just a joke. I know I've been giving you a hard time, Mrs. Lawrence. I thought you might. I'd appreciate it if you'd lay off. Well, I'd like to start over, if you would. Why not? See you in class? On time. What's with her? It's just the beginning. Limping? It's nothing, just housemaid's knee. Housemaid's knee? That's okay. It was worth it. Place looks pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, I get it. I just have to do a little more ironing. Is there any chance you could, um. pay you today? Buddy wants to ring back tonight. No more briefs. Okay, come on. I'll drive you to Jewelers. Oh, hi. I'm glad I caught you in. My ring was in my room, and I need it now. You said you needed it to wear to some party. Buddy, you don't need that ring to meet some guy. Whoever it is, he'll see you across the crowded room. I need my ring now. Buddy, I don't know how to tell you this. Tell me what? Well, you see, I, um... I lost your ring. You lost my ring? Annie, that ring was very special to me. I gave it to you, and I said to take care of it. Now, how could you lose it? Wait a second, buddy. She didn't do it on purpose. She's been working like a horse around here to earn enough money to buy a new one. As a matter of fact, we were just on our way to the jewelers to get it. There's not another one like it, Willie. Oh, yes, there is. I saw it in the newspaper, and I called up, and they're holding it for me. Well, they could just keep holding it, as far as I'm concerned. I love that ring, Annie. And you telling you're getting me another one just doesn't help at all. Get Not hard enough, or I wouldn't have lost it in the first place. We all know that the basic ingredient of music is sound, but uh, is this music? Philip? Well, it's not music to my ears, Mrs. Lawrence, but uh, whatever you say goes. You see, if we're talking about what's music and what isn't, this is music to my ears. What do you say, Mark? Now, the rhythm section. Stop it. Anna. Stop it. This class is dismissed. You are all to leave the room immediately and quietly. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. It's quite obvious, Mrs. Lawrence, but if I were you, I'd give it some thought. I came in to tell you that the person assigned from your university to observe you would be here tomorrow. You're certainly fortunate it wasn't today. Pizza with me. I'm not hungry. Oh? Why the sandwich? 
I need something to keep you occupied. Well, even if you're not hungry, how about coming out with me anyway? We used to always go out for pizzas, remember? I kind of missed that. Things change. Boy, that's true. There was a time when you used to think I was perfect. Nothing lasts forever. And luckily, you found a replacement for me. Uh, something tells me you're talking about Annie. You bet I am. Why shouldn't she think you're perfect? You let her off the hook about the ring. No, now, come on, buddy. I didn't give Annie that money so she could buy you a new ring. She worked very hard for that money. I know all that. That's not the point. That's not the important thing. I must have missed something. You sure did. I lent that ring to Annie in good faith. That ring meant a lot to me. And she was careless and thoughtless with it. And she felt terrible. But if it had been me, you'd have made me understand that replacing the ring was much less important than coming out and telling you that I was sorry that I lost it. I owe you an apology, buddy. And I think I owe Annie an even bigger one for missing the point. I'm glad you finally got it. I hate to see Annie miss out on all the good things she could learn from her older brother. Not to mention her older sister. Pizza time? Pepperonis and sausage? Peanuts and popcorn, if that's what you want. Oh, I think we better ask Mom. She needs pizza more than both of us. Uh, I already beat you two. She says she was too tired. Well, I figured we could bring her back, if that's what she wants. Okay. Kate. Hi. I know I'm late, but it's only 7 o'clock. I mean, what are you doing in bed? Resting and rehabilitating. I've been here since about 4. At the moment, I have no plan to leave. Well, you must be exhausted. Yes, indeed. Well, it's only natural. You've never been on this kind of a tight schedule. Up, breakfast, get dressed, off to work, no substitutions allowed. It's rough getting used to that. That's not why I'm up here cowering under the covers. I let myself down today. I can't stand it. more trouble at school? You remember you said there's always somebody who tries to test you to see who's boss? You were right. That's just what Philip Ogden was doing. Well, he got his answer. He's boss. I concede. And that's that? I guess my ability to deal with kids is restricted to my own backyard. Well... Four years of hard work down the drain because of some 17-year-old bully. If I were you, I'd demand a retrial. You don't understand. It's not as if all the other kids are clamoring to learn. They're all on his side. They do anything he tells them. In fact, they find him far more interesting than they find me any day. Philip Ogden, the one you always try to keep off a jury. What? You find that type on a jury quite often. Someone who, by sheer force of personality, can sway 11 others into making a decision. Usually a wrong one. Exactly. That person can be stopped. Not by me. Yes, by you. The same way I do it in court. I don't address myself to the disruptive person. I try to convince the 11 others that I'm worth listening to. The other guy isn't. The only hope is to get the 11 other people on your side. It's too late for that. I don't think anything could induce me to walk back into that classroom. In fact, I'm not sure I want to walk into any classroom. I've been very naive, Doug. One of the teachers of the school tried to warn me. She said none of the kids give a damn about learning anything. I wonder if she's one of Buddy's teachers. I hope not, for Buddy's sake. I'm going downstairs to make a sandwich. You want anything? You got any humble pie down there?
Are you asleep? Oh, hi. Can I sit down? Sure. I thought maybe you'd kick me out. No. Buddy, I really am sorry about losing your ring. I promised I'd be careful, and I wasn't. I wasn't even able to tell you about it. I knew it was really dumb to try and get you another one like it. But saying I was sorry just didn't seem like enough. Have you been talking to Willie? No, why? No reason. I know the ring's not replaceable. But there must be something you want. The ring's not replaceable. And I hate that it was lost. But there is something I want. I want us to be able to trust each other and tell each other the truth at all times. This won't happen again. But there must be something else you want. A good night's sleep wouldn't hurt. Well, okay. I feel better about it now. Mm, me too. On the other hand, why don't you leave the money here and I'll come up with something I want. Better yet, you keep the money, and maybe we can both come up with something we both want. Ah, uh -huh. go on. Night. Night. Don't you have a class today? I just decided I'm not going in this morning. Well, I think you ought to. Knowing what a pain it's been for you having me there, I thank you for that. But I don't think so. You better get going, though. Remember when you were trying to teach me how to play? Oh, yes. I've uh, always felt I shouldn't have insisted. You never really wanted to learn. As there is unity and variety in life and nature, so too there is unity and variety in music. You remember that. And remember you were trying to teach me about contrast in music? You'd say, although every day ends in darkness, all darkness leads to a new day. The same pattern, only always different. I didn't think you were the least bit interested in what I was saying. Neither did I. But it stuck in my mind. It comes back a lot. When I hear someone playing, or when I'm just listening to records. And I'm sorry. For what? Oh, for being so crummy about you being at my school. I really am. I forgive you. It's not that I don't want you to be a teacher, because I do. I'd be crazy not to. And a lot of kids would feel the same way if they knew you. Thank you. <laughs> Tut-tut, Mrs. Lawrence, you're late. Go to your own desk. Uh, can I play teacher today? I don't think you could handle it. I don't know. But if I put my mind to it, I could even teach you a few things. That may be. But finally, it's not about my learning, is it? That's what the rest of you are here for. Isn't that right, Mark? Well, is it, Mark? Are you here to learn? Yeah. You could have fooled me. I'm awfully glad to hear it. Very sharp, Mrs. Lawrence. Quiet. Anna, what about you? Are you here to learn? Yes, I am. Before there are any more interruptions, is there anyone else here who wants to learn?
Well, then, that's settled. Go to your own desk, Philip. You've been retired. I demand a recount. It's all right with me, if the rest of you agree. I must say, I don't know why you would. Your time is so precious to you. You've wasted so much of it already. Letting yourselves be sabotaged by somebody else's problems. I knew it. You were a psych major. No, education. I mean, never to forget that again. Stop. You're breaking my heart. Okay. Let's hear it. Now, is Mrs. Lawrence right or wrong? Are we interested in education? All right. One, two, three. No, we're not. Thank you. Go to your seat, please. <clears throat> no, thanks. I'd rather stand. In that case, I'd like you to leave. Well, I thought you'd never ask. Neither did I. <sighs> Let's go, Mark. Later, man. this overture very carefully. Travels fast. Especially when it's good. If you hadn't said what you did to me this morning, I don't think I'd be here now. Thank you. I'm glad it worked. You'd be impossible to live with if you gave up. Right again. I think we both deserve a treat. Name it. I hear the school has a great frozen yogurt machine. Oh, it's in the student cafeteria. Shall we? You don't like frozen yogurt? I love it. But all your friends are in there, and what would they say if you came in with your butt? <laughs> I knew you'd understand. I'll walk you to your car, though. Okay. Uh, wait. Just because I don't want to be seen in public with you doesn't mean you're not my favorite teacher. 